Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand JavaScript array methods. In the previous video tutorials, we understood push method, pop method, unshift method, shift method, splice method, slice method, concat method and join method. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss index of method and last index of method. So let's get started. We already know what is an array. Array is a collection of data elements or data values. What is an array guys? Array is a collection of elements or values. Arrays are created to store multiple values in a single variable. Normally a variable holds a single value. If you want to store multiple values or list of values in a single variable, then you create a variable of type array. We already know how to create a variable of type array using literal notation. What we do? We write var keyword, then we write the array name equal to. In between pair of square brackets, we write comma separated list of values and then we say semicolon. For example, I am saying here var std names, std names is the array name equal to. In between pair of square brackets, I have written list of students names and then semicolon. Let's create this array. I minimize the word document. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it. Say open with notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code written. Title is set to default page. Here in the body section, I have written script tag. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page. Say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to default page. Title is set to default page. Here inside the script tag, I say var std names is equal to in between pair of square brackets in double quotations. I say Ram comma in double quotations. I say Ravi comma in double quotations. I say Raju comma in double quotations. I say Raghu comma in double quotations. I say Gopal comma in double quotations. I say Ravi. So that is how we are going to create an array using literal notation in JavaScript. I also told you what happens when this statement is executed. We know that computer checks how many elements are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6 elements are there. So what computer does? It goes to memory. It allocates a memory block. It allocates a memory block containing 6 memory locations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. To this entire memory block, it gives the name std names. That is our array name. And inside these memory locations, it puts values. We'll be having Ram, next Ravi, next Raju, next Raghu, next Gopal, next Ravi. And we know that arrays follow zero based indexing. So the first element in the array is going to have index zero. Next element is going to have index one. Next element is going to have index 2. Next element is going to have index 3. Next element is going to have index 4. And next element is going to have index 5. So that's what happens inside the memory guys. That's what happens inside the memory when this statement is executed. Now we know how to create an array and we understood what happens inside the memory when this code is executed. Next we understand how to display the array. To display any array, you just need to write the array name. If you write the array name, it displays all the elements available in that array. I go here, I say document dot write in brackets. I say std names. That's the array name. Definitely we are going to see output Ram comma Ravi comma Raju comma Raghu comma Gopal comma Ravi displayed. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see Ram, Ravi, Raju, Raghu, Gopal, Ravi displayed. So all the elements in the array are displayed guys. I am going to add one line break. I say here document dot write in brackets. I say br. I am using the break tag. Okay. Now we understood how to create an array and uh, what happens when the array statement is executed and we understood how to display the array also. Let's understand the array methods. First we understand index of method. Index of method returns an index of the first occurrence of the given search element. What index of method does? It returns the index of the first occurrence of the given search element. 
the syntax is when we call the index of method we pass a search element that is the element to be searched search element indicates the element to be searched and it returns what it returns the index of the first occurrence of the element to be searched guys for example if i say stud names dot index of ravi it returns 1 why it returns 1 because the first occurrence of ravi is at the index 1 you can clearly see that the ravi is available at index 1 that's the first occurrence so if i go here copy this code and paste down i say stud names dot index of in brackets in double quotations i say ravi so what computer does what computer does it goes to stud names array it goes to stud names array and checks whether this element is ravi no whether this element is ravi yes so first occurrence of ravi okay it is at the index 1 so what what happens here it returns the index of first occurrence of the ravi will get 1 guys if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see it has displayed 1 so that's what the index of method does next we have last index of method last index of method returns the index of the last occurrence of the given search element it returns the last occurrence guys the syntax is when we call the last index of method we pass the search element that indicates the element to be searched and it returns index of the last occurrence of the element to be searched for example if i say stud names dot last index of ravi it returns 5 why you can see the last occurrence of ravi in this array is at the index 5 right so it returns that guys if i copy this code and paste down and i say here last index of ravi definitely you will see 5 i say file save go to browser and refresh see first occurrence last occurrence okay so that is about the index of method and last index of method guys i hope you guys have clearly understood i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly try it yourself and experiment more if you experiment with the code you get more idea guys in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about arrays if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.